loves welcome back to the channel so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to get rid of your sunburn faster without it coming back now i decided to make this video because i noticed that most people do complain that when they clear out their sunburn it comes back darker like darker than it was before now in this video i'm going to be telling you why your sunburn keeps coming back darker and i'm also going to be telling you what you can do or what you can use to get rid of your sunburn faster without it coming back so if this sounds interesting to you please like this video and keep on watching <music> first time please don't make it your last please guys keep seeing me keep watching me keep watching my videos but please first of all subscribe to the channel like just click on that red subscribe button down below and get subscribed to the channel and keep watching my videos subscription is free totally free but just subscribe to the channel and turn on your bell notification so that each time i post a new video you'll be the first person to be notified by youtube all right so sunburn is the effect of excessive sun exposure to our skin so excessive sun exposure can literally cause toxic injury on our skin that could take some time to heal up and this can be very dangerous like sunburn can be very dangerous for your skin because even when you successfully clear up your sunburn it can still lead to skin cancer so that is how dangerous sunburn is you want to be very careful to prevent your skin from getting sunburn like prevention they say is better than kill so you want to make sure you prevent your skin from getting sunburn now this video is in two categories i'm going to be addressing those that don't have sunburn how to prevent you from getting it in the future and those that already have sunburn i'm also going to be teaching you guys how to get rid of your sunburn all right so you want to keep on watching there's no excuse that oh i don't have sunburn this video is not for me no you can still get it so you also want to make sure you watch the end to pick the tip that concerns you and let's first of all address those that are experiencing sunburn now then later on i'm going to address those that don't have sunburn but they want to prevent their skin from having sunburn so for those that already have sunburn here are some tips for you guys to help you get rid of your sunburn the number one tip is that you never ever want to use a lightening product to lighten up your sunburn like i know your sunburn is dark right and you feel like using lightening products will help lighten that place up to make it rhyme with your other skin color but no you're going to be doing your skin a whole lot of damage let me tell you why your skin is already very sensitive around this area because most people usually have their sunburn around this area most times so now your skin is already sensitive around this area you do not want to irritate or further irritate that area by using lightning products because lightning products will definitely contain harsh ingredients so yeah it's going to help lighten up your sunburn but it's going to come back darker like 10 times darker and you don't want that so you don't want to use lighting products on your sunburn instead use moisturizing products like you need to moisturize that area and that brings me to my second tip which is invest in good moisturizers like get a good facial cream that contains lots of moisturizing properties to help moisturize that area this is because due to sun exposure this area will always feel dry and your other skin so you want to make sure you are moisturizing the area the area needs moisture like your sunburn needs moisture not lightning pro you want to keep moisturizing that area like as frequent as possible like as often as you can it can even be up to three four times in a day once you feel like your face is getting dry moisturize take out your moisturizing face cream and moisturize the area there are a lot of good moisturizing face cream out there i have a video here where i talked about various moisturizing face cream that you can use for your skin so please go watch that video up here after watching this video to check some face creams you can get for your sunburn another thing is that you want to include aloe vera gel in your skincare routine like guys aloe vera gel is very very good like very very good for sunburn aloe vera gel contains soothing cooling and inflammatory properties that would help soot and cool down your sunburn because yeah some people with sunburn do experience pain so you can use aloe vera gel to try to calm that area down soot your skin moisturize your skin but please don't let it replace your face moisturizer but yeah this will also moisturize your face but you want to still make sure you're using a facial 
moisturizer now to get more benefit from your aloe vera gel you can even put it in your refrigerator to cool a bit or to chill a bit before you apply it on your skin like you're going to notice the difference like the way it feels on your skin will be different it's going to help calm and cool that area this is just how aloe vera gel helps to treat your sunburn it's going to cool that area calm it down it's very gentle or like lightning products that will be so harsh on your skin clear it out and coming back no aloe vera gel is natural and it's going to help calm your skin and help brighten up your sunburn area when you are getting your aloe vera gel make sure you check the ingredients list like if you cannot get fresh aloe vera gel like from your garden yeah you can also make use of drugstore aloe vera gel but make sure it doesn't contain alcohol please because you know you are trying to moisturize your face your sunburn area because it's already dry and alcohol will further dry it out so you want to make sure your aloe vera gel does not contain alcohol i'll leave a picture of the aloe vera gel i use on the screen so that you guys can check it out but if this one is not available in your locality you, you can also check for other aloe vera gels in your area but just make sure it doesn't contain alcohol and the third tip is that you want to stop exfoliating that area like yeah i know that you love exfoliating i also love exfoliating my skin but please you want to make sure you stop exfoliating for that time like for the meantime just stop exfoliating that area because it will further irritate that area that place is already sensitive enough you don't want to use any other thing that will further make it very sensitive did i hear you say what about chemical exfoliant don't even use chemical exfoliants because let me tell you something chemical exfoliants also contains one form of acid or the likes like one or two forms of acid right and acids are too strong for your face at this time like at this point in time acids are too strong for your face so just keep your exfoliating toners your exfoliating marks even retinol your retinol serum just stop those products because those products are very strong and your face is sensitive right now so you don't want to use strong products on a sensitive skin it's going to react badly on your skin even if you must exfoliate your skin please make use of your exfoliating gloves i have a video here on my channel where i explained how you can exfoliate using your simple exfoliating glove and it's still going to get the job done i'm going to link it up here you can go watch that to learn how you can exfoliate your skin without using exfoliating scrub or exfoliating toners or chemical exfoliants and the likes the fourth tip is that try adding vitamin c serum into your skincare routine yeah vitamin c serum is a very good antioxidant that also helps with healing wounds and bonds yeah it's going to help with your sunburn it's going to help treat your sunburn and brighten it up gradually vitamin c serum also treats face redness due to excessive sun exposure i do recommend vitamin c serum for my clients anytime they complain about face redness it's very good for face redness which is also due to sun exposure right so it's going to help treat your face redness your sunburn in fact research have shown that vitamin c serum is a good complement for sunscreen like it's going to aid your sunscreen in protecting your skin more from the sun so just try that tip out all right if you have not subscribed please what are you waiting for please subscribe to the channel right now if you enjoy what you're watching also like this video just to support your girl all right now let's go back to the video the fifth tip you want to do is to always drink a lot of water now i know you'll be like how does drinking water concern sunburn right now let me tell you something i already made mention of moisture at the beginning of this video that your skin needs moisture because that part of your skin is already dry due to sun exposure so that is why i recommended moisturizers face moisturizers and aloe vera gel at first right so to further moisturize your skin to further hydrate your skin you can include water as well drink enough water to hydrate your skin from within it will also help complement your skin outside all right water can never do any wrong right so just make sure you are hydrating yourself drink a lot of water eat healthy eat fruits like don't let a day go by without eating fruit. Now, another tip, I've forgotten the number right now, but another tip you want to make sure you, you're doing is that, guys, don't peel your skin. Oh, God. Like, a lot of people have made the mistake of peeling their skin, and they are living to regret that decision. Now, I know when you go to some cosmetic vendors to, like, complain about your sunburn, they might recommend peeling your skin, but guys, 
don't peel your skin peeling the skin can be very dangerous especially if you don't do it right now let me explain something to you our skin shed every 28 days like is natural that's a normal thing our skin shed every 28 days but you now peeling your skin before the ripe stage shows that you are forcefully shedding out those dead skin cells when it's not ripe for shedding all right and that will definitely affect the new skin layer coming up so you want to make sure you are not forcing those dead skin cells to shed now moving on to those that don't have sunburn but they want to know how to prevent their skin from getting sunburn i have tips for you as well and this tip will also be very very much applicable to those with sunburn that are trying to treat it yes you want to also pay attention to this part of the video so prevention is better than cure right you want to make sure you are preventing yourself from getting sunburn and the major way you can prevent your skin from getting sunburn is to use sunscreen sunblock sun protection whichever you call it make sure you are protecting your skin from the sun not ever step out of your house without using a sunscreen like don't do it like don't do it and apart from using sunscreen make sure you are wearing clothes that cover up your skin just to protect your skin from the sun because someone is so bad that before it will go you have to treat it you have to be intentional about it treat it gradually so someone is very very stubborn so you want to make sure you are protecting your skin from the sun as much as possible invest in umbrellas fashionable scarves that you can just wrap around your face when you're going out and sunglasses so all this will help protect your skin from the sun now don't just apply sunscreen before leaving the house make sure you're also reapplying every four to five hours like so many people make this mistake i have a video here on my channel i'll link it up here where i talked about how to use sunscreen like the proper way of applying your sunscreen i'm going to leave the link here so go watch that after watching this video to know the proper way of applying your sunscreen so that you won't just be wasting your sunscreen and be applying sunscreen and you'll still be getting sunburn like that's just a waste of money and time right so just go watch that video now if you don't know the kind of sunscreen you can get i also have another video here for you go watch this video up here in this video i explained what to watch out for when getting your sunscreen and i also made mention of some sunscreens that i've tried that are very very good that you can also try out so go watch all these videos i'm talking about like they are really going to benefit you so this is it guys just try out these tips that i mentioned in this video and come back to give me the review in the comment section and i hope it's also going to work out for you thanks so much for watching guys if you enjoy watching this video please like this video and if you haven't subscribed to the channel i'm reminding you again please subscribe to the channel subscription is free Please subscribe to the channel by clicking on that red subscribe button. Also turn on your notification bell so that each time I post a new video, you will be the first to know about it. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in another one. Bye!